Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm about 250 kilometers away. However, uh, last night the weather was really, really horrible. I mean, uh, I almost turned around and back home. Uh, there was sleet, frozen rain. Uh, the driving conditions were, uh, were dangerous. I mean, it was crazy, crazy, crazy. So anyway, I did part of the trip down. I stopped at a rest area and I slept. Uh, I slept till about three in the morning, and then I continued from there. And I just crossed the uh, into the state of Pennsylvania now. I'm at a rest area. I'm gonna grab myself a coffee, gas up, and head out to, uh, to Harrisburg. Currently, it's the, uh, the largest outdoor show in, in North America. There's over 1,200 uh, exhibitors and close to a quarter of a million people uh, visit that, uh, that show every year. And uh, lucky enough to be able to uh, make it happen this year. So stick around. I think it's going to be interesting. I'll be taking some videos over there. We might meet a few people. Okay, guys. Uh, in this video, many of the clips are going to contain a, a voice over uh, audio. Uh, I did that so we can, uh, you know, reduce some of the background noise. But what you're seeing over here is a fish tank that was built on a tractor trailer. And that's how they were testing and showing their lures to the spectators. Uh, over here is the small arena. <laughs> small arena. You can fit close to 2,000 people. Or maybe 1,500 for sure. And, uh going by uh, Mr. Uh, Jim Shockey's uh, booth over here. And the way that they did it, uh, they had uh, separate rooms. Uh, like they had a, uh, you know, uh, nine halls, uh, halls that, uh, where they showed off their firearms, another hall for their archery, uh, you know, outfitters, taxidermists, clothing, you know, people that were making blinds or traps anglers uh, they even had uh, demonstration on dock dogs uh, seminars concerts concerts and there was a lot of uh, celebrity speakers uh, however uh, what i want to say is like this is the biggest show that i've ever attended i've never seen anything as big as this and some of the work some of the taxidermy here uh, was amazing uh, i couldn't couldn't believe what I was seeing. Like um, a lot of these uh, specimens were true to life. It was incredible. Really, really, really beautiful. Outfitters from all over the world: Spain, Canada, China, Zimbabwe, uh, Argentina, South Africa. You name it, they were all there. And uh, this particular booth here, where you see the uh, show special, uh, I was talking to the gentleman there about maybe. Uh, going on a hog hunt uh, if you look to your right this is um, one of the uh, taxidermists that I was telling you uh, they go by the name of Kanadi Ka Elite amazing 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 work crazy work over here is the booth of our friend from uh, Warthog Safaris that I also had a pleasure of uh, speaking to uh, you know I'm gonna put him on my uh, to-do list I would like to go to Africa one day however uh, I'd like to go down with a couple of friends so you know anyway uh, a lot of people here a lot of Canadians and uh, there was something for everybody absolutely absolutely something for everybody it's a it's a must-see show for any outdoorsman I highly recommend it right now folks we just entered the uh, the armory arena if you'd like uh, I don't know how many square feet this area was, but oh my God, <laughs> there was probably maybe two, three hundred exhibitors just in this arena alone. You can find anything from tactical to hunting, uh, black powder, uh, you name it, they had it. Um, any brand imaginable, you would find an exhibitor here. Uh, what can I say? Like I said before, I was in total awe. Right here, uh, we're viewing the uh, Battle Horse Nines uh, table. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to talk to anybody behind the counter. They were very busy. 
However, I took a look at a few of their knives that they had on display, some of their uh, fire strikers. Nice stuff, pretty good stuff. get a load of this baby over here guys now, isn't this a toy that any of us guys would want to have in their backyard anyway I just can't imagine what I would be able to do with this thing here another thing too guys before the uh, we end this video tour of the great American outdoors show uh, I just want you to get a load of this yellow baby over here it's the safe for somebody who has over 300 guns at home. In the beginning, at first I thought it was uh, a display piece, a show piece, but no, it is real, functional, and it is for sale for whoever is interested. Wow, what can I say, guys? Uh, great show, great two days. Uh, I had a great time here. Uh, and uh, although this video is only 10 minutes, I got to tell you guys, I must have spent 21 hours in two days. And I still didn't manage to stop at almost, you know, at every kiosk that I wanted to uh, sit down and talk with the guys. But uh, for anyone, uh, for any angler, outdoorsman, hunter, fisherman, whatever, you know, you've got to come at least once and pay a visit to the Great American Outdoor Show. You will not regret it. So now we got to turn around and find our way out. So uh, let's head for the exits, guys, because we got a long drive back home. I think I'm going in the right direction. Control the alarm. I hear it. I hear it. Where's the open side? Ah, okay. The route calculation to your intermediate destination is complete. Please proceed to the nearest road. Yes, I am. Okay, guys. I gotta head out. We'll talk again soon.